and be ready if the opportunity should arise. 315. That's a different type of squatting style. High bar, very high bar. Really controlled into the hole. Yeah. He did pick up a small injury earlier this year, so hopefully he's well over that now. is looking in top form. Yeah, the world record squad is 360. He just opened with 345. Elbows come forward. It is just such a unique squatting style. But 325, and compared to the other lifters, nominated with 337.5. Let's see if we're gonna end up anywhere close to that. I believe it was his adductor on the squat. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's... That's a very difficult second attempt, and he really dive-bombed in at the bottom. There's a look of concern on his face. Anatoly has been at World so many times. Depth is there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, and I believe he was mouthing. That should be good. I know he speaks Ukrainian. I'm wondering what this looks like when the fight comes. We haven't seen him grind yet. Ah, it might be a stitch high. It might be. I'm not sure it was as deep as his previous squats. Yeah, we'll see what the judge, yeah, and you know what? I got to, I think this would have been the grinder. He avoided the grind by cutting it, that's high for sure. Yeah, and three red lights, there is no challenge. No, well, people think this is return of the king. Depth looks good, whoa! That's a phenomenal squat. Joe, he is on point today. The talk all over the venue. Have you seen Anatoly? How does he look? Is he on point? Yes. Yeah, yeah he, he is. is. As we take a look at the squat event, Anatoly Novopismani with a 362.5. One would hope he does pull conventional. It's more back when you pull conventional. Three white lights. That is a super close grip. This is, he has got an interesting squat, an interesting bench. I would not say mimic that style, but it obviously works for him. Abdullah Muhammad makes it look like a normal grip, but look at that. Really fast. So his, smooth. His bench has been uh, a little bit down of late. Hopefully we're going to see a return to form tonight. And the rivalry continues. Emil won last time they faced each other at the Europeans. Three white lights. It must be due to some kind of injury. Has to be. I just don't, I just don't know. Imagine it wasn't. And you just moved out his grip, put the bar lower on his back for squats. I don't know what we get out of him. Losing at Euros, I think that's what his total was. So you see the difference when he's on and when he's not. That was a great bench. He's got more in the tank there. And today he's on. Wow. Beautiful third attempt on bench. Injured or not, Emil Norling is not going down without a fight. We do have some monster deadlifters in the pack. A lot can happen. Wow. It's crazy the pressing power he has with a grip width like that. Hard to wrap my head around. Bigger deadlifts are within the 105s. Oh, there you go. Grabs two and a half more kilos. It's great to see athletes coming out and executing well and the coaching team doing their job, picking the right numbers. That is a long way up and down, but he manages it well. 
And we take a look at the bench press medal standings with Anatoly Nova Pismani, 225, the gold. Michael Davis from US with the silver are gonna mitigate the gap, but can they completely bridge the gap? That's smooth, Joe. Looked easy. I think he's got I think he's got a fair way to go up there. He looks to have at least another 20 kilos in him. With his deadlift. It's his most potent weapon. All right, wow. If we were wondering if he's injured. He pulled 377 and a half. His knees are shaking. I'm not sure how to read it, though. He locks it out in the end. He's been impossible to read all night. Let's see how 340 moves today. That was smooth, Joe. At least another 10. Oh, he's a hard one to call, though, Joe. He is. I mean, that, that looked hard, but it didn't look too different to his opener. But we think he has picked up an injury or maybe tweaked an old injury. That's relatively smooth for a second, especially, especially given the circumstances of how quickly we're moving. Massive total. It's his own world record total anyway. 937 and a half. Oh, that's a smooth third pull too. Wow, Anatoly on his A game today. The king is back. The king of the 105s is back. What a performance by Anatoly Nova Pismani. Just perfect on the platform today. Begs the question, where can he take this total in the 105s? And defend against Norlin. Oh, he's shaking. I and know. that seemed to be the story of his deadlift day. Three white lights, wow. you can't take that away. And expect Team USA and Michael Davis, while well, Mill Norling just gave an attempt change. Swedish team chanting, come on, Emil. Come on, Emil. Oh. oh, it's a tough lockout. What a way to finish the session. Emil Norling giving the crowd what they asked for with three white lights and a gutsy performance after that scary squat session he had. Such a brisk pace, facing adversity and walking away with the silver. And Joe, that was an action-packed 105. As we take a look, Anatoly Novopismani taking the gold medal and a world record total with 940. Emil Norling, the returning world champion, settling for silver. I use that term lightly with 905. And Abdullah Mohammed from Libya with 